Stop. Look around you right now. The phone in your hand, obsolete. The car in your driveway, a museum piece. 10 years ago, AI drawing a perfect picture from a single sentence was pure fiction. Today, it's a button on your laptop. The year 2030 isn't far away. It's the deadline. By then, your daily life will be powered by technology that today seems like magic. We're not just getting faster devices, we're rewiring reality. Today, we're counting down the five future technologies that will be absolutely normal by 2030. And number one, it will fundamentally change what it means to be alive. Five, generative AI becomes cognitive infrastructure. Generative AI as cognitive infrastructure. You know ChatGPT. That is AI 1.0, the novelty phase. AI 2.0, which will be normal by 2030, is an invisible, proactive layer of intelligence woven into every aspect of your life. It moves from reactive, answering a prompt, to agentic, autonomously acting on your goals. The agentic revolution. Imagine telling your AI, find an investment property in Bali for July, handle the legal, and book flights. Today you do this in 10 apps. By 2030, your AI agent does it. It autonomously contacts rental platforms, analyzes zoning laws, and executes a smart contract. It acts on your behalf with full cognitive and decision-making authority. This is the agentic economy, the AI coworker. In your job, your AI co-pilot won't just write an email. It will analyze all company data, forecast market risks, propose strategic solutions, and execute the final report, leaving you to simply review and sign off. All white-collar knowledge work has fundamentally changed. The shift. AI goes from being a tool to being the user. It becomes the cognitive layer of all global commerce, finance, and productivity. The new human skill is not how to do a task, but how to delegate and supervise your AI agents. Four, distributed energy and solid state batteries. Our fourth technology is the silent infrastructure that makes everything else possible, the energy revolution. Right now, the energy grid is centralized, old, and fragile. By 2030, two advancements will make energy cleaner, cheaper, and fundamentally disrupt global power structures. The distributed grid. Forget massive distant power plants. By 2030, every building will be a power generator. The key is storage. Solid state batteries, SSBs, are the holy grail. They are safer, charge faster, and are far more energy dense. SSBs will give electric vehicles, EVs, massive ranges, charge in minutes, and make the home power wall normal. Your house generates solar power, stores it in an SSB, and charges your EV. If your neighbor needs power, your system sells the excess to them through the grid. This is a distributed energy network, resilient, democratic, and decentralized. Energy independence. When everyone can generate, store, and trade their own power, Energy becomes a commodity, not a weapon. The shift, energy costs plummet. Reliability skyrockets. We transition from a dirty, centralized system to a clean, distributed, and resilient one. This fuels the entire AI and autonomous revolution. Three, hyper-personalized and preventative medicine. This one is the most personal because it changes your relationship with your own body. Genomics and AI-powered preventive medicine. For centuries, medicine has been reactive. You get sick, you go to the doctor. By 2030, that model will be considered barbaric. The new normal will be hyper-personalization, driven by ubiquitous AI diagnostics and gene editing. AI as your permanent health co-pilot. Imagine smart clothing tracking your biomarkers 24-7. This data feeds into a personalized AI health agent, a medical co-pilot trained on your unique genome. The AI doesn't wait for you to get sick. It tells you months in advance that your cholesterol is trending dangerously, suggests a gene-specific diet, and monitors daily changes. Illness becomes a choice, not a surprise. Gene editing goes mainstream. Simultaneously, we'll see simple gene editing protocols mature, not for designer babies, but for common diseases. You might take a simple therapeutic shot, that edits out the specific gene predisposing you to cancer or heart disease. The cost of sequencing a human genome is plummeting. By 2030, it will be routine. 
Every medical decision will be based on your code, not a population average. The shift, healthcare moves from treating disease to managing wellness. The goal is to extend the healthy lifespan. Being diagnosed with a major disease will be a rare failure of the system. Two, autonomous systems become ubiquitous. Next up, a technology that will reclaim one of the most valuable resources you have, your time. By 2030, autonomous systems, vehicles, drones, and robots will move from novelty to the invisible infrastructure of the global economy. Right now, a self-driving car still needs a human to pay attention. By 2030, we won't just have level five autonomous cars, we'll have fully autonomous city ecosystems. The end of driving. Picture this, you call an ACES vehicle, autonomous, connected, electric, shared. It arrives instantly, navigating a city grid where every vehicle and sensor is communicating on an ultra low latency 6G network. There are virtually no accidents, no traffic congestion. Your car simply drops you off and joins the shared fleet. Your 45 minute daily commute is now 45 minutes of productive time. This won't just apply to passenger cars. Autonomous drones will handle 80% of last mile package delivery, reducing shipping costs. Autonomous farming robots will navigate massive fields, harvesting with AI-driven precision, leading to massive improvements in crop yield. This isn't about robots taking jobs, it's about systems taking on logistics and repetition. By 2030, manual driving in major urban areas will likely be banned or heavily regulated because the autonomous system will be demonstrably safer and more efficient than any human. The shift. We stop being drivers and delivery people. We become system overseers and designers. The physical world is automated, freeing human capacity for creativity and service. One, extended reality, XR, becomes the new internet. This brings us to the final and most profound technology that will be normal by 2030. Extended reality or XR. You know the terms VR, AR, mixed reality. Right now, it's clunky and mostly for gaming. You put on a headset and bump into your coffee table, but by 2030, this changes. XR is no longer a headset. It's a pair of stylish, lightweight glasses or specialized contact lenses. And it doesn't just replace your screen, it replaces your windows. The death of the physical monitor. Imagine sitting in your small apartment. Put on your XR glasses and instantly your tiny desk is surrounded by six holographic monitors floating in the air. You can resize them and collaborate with a coworker's digital avatar sitting right next to you, even if they're across the planet. The office commute dies. Your digital workspace is infinite and it goes wherever you do. In 2030, this will be your new normal for work. Retail and education transformed. But it goes deeper. Imagine walking into a supermarket and your AR glasses project the complete nutritional breakdown and allergen warnings layered directly over your view of the real world. That's augmented retail. In education, your children won't read about the Colosseum. They'll stand in it virtually. This immersive learning will make traditional textbooks feel like stone tablets. The shift. In 2025, we go to the internet. By 2030, the internet will come to us layered seamlessly over our physical reality. It will be the most efficient, most engaging way to interact with information. The digital and physical worlds finally merge. That's why this is one of the most critical tech shifts of the decade. These five technologies won't be headlines. They'll be your air and water. The future is arriving far faster than you think. Don't be left behind. Subscribe to track the future as it becomes the present. What do you think? Which of these five technologies will have the biggest impact? Let me know in the comments below.